if you are under the sound of my voice right now i just want you to know your light has come and your life will never be the same without wasting much of your time let us lead the word for today we are going to lead from hosea chapter 6 verse 6 I want you to show love, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. Our text this day is the fruit of the Spirit called love. The fruit of the Spirit called love. The Bible says, I want you to show love more than sacrifices and I want you to know me more than anything else. What is love? And the Bible says, I want you to know me. This is God. And we know God by his messes and by his enduring love. God is love. And the Bible says, I want you to know me. What we know is what we do. But when we look at whatever we are doing, do we really show that we know God? The Bible says, I want you to know me. And we know God by his love. He loved us by sending his only son jesus to die for us to save us that's how he showed his love so do we also show the love of god to other people do we also emulate the character of jesus as love the bible says i want you to show love do we really show love or do we know how we can show love? When we read James chapter 3, verses 10 to 12, the Bible says, The same mouth you will hear something good, something a blessing coming out of that mouth, and that same mouth releases also some cases. Many of us, we are using the same mouth of ours to bless people, to teach people the word of God, to preach the gospel. But at the same time, we are using the same mouth to curse other people. We are using the same mouth to speak bad of other people. We are using the same mouth to destroy relationship of other people. And the Bible says, this is not good. How can we show love to other people? Love is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. When we read in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, we learn that love is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which means if you want to be men and women of love, if we want to be boys and girls of love, that means what we need is not really love, but what we need is the Holy Spirit inside our heart. When the Holy Spirit is inside our heart, it means He will glow and bear the fruit of love in us. He will mature into the fruit of love inside our life the fruit of the spirit is the true character of jesus that's why the bible says i want you to know me we know god by his love and we must do that which we know if god is love that means we also must be love so what we need is love and love comes in our life love manifests in our life 
once we have the Holy Spirit inside our heart. The Holy Spirit comes inside our heart once we listen to the Word of God and we believe. To believe means to start doing the Word of God. The moment we start walking in the Word, the moment we start doing the Word, that will mean we have believed. And instantly, our Father, our Heavenly Father, will grant us the gift of the Holy Spirit inside our heart. And is the Holy Spirit who now bears the fruit of love in us. Do you act in love? Do you have love in your life? You cannot say, I'll be a person of love. You cannot just say, I'll be a loving person. Love is a fruit. And where there's a fruit, there is a seed. All you need is to say, I'll be a man of the Spirit. I'll be a man of submitting to the Holy Spirit. What the Holy Spirit says I must do, I will do exactly that one. Remember the Bible has been written by the Holy Spirit, which means the moment we start doing the Word of God, that means we are submitting to the Holy Spirit. And as we submit to the Holy Spirit, we will then bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, who is love. All we need is to show the character of Jesus Christ. We have met Jesus, we know Jesus, if we are able to show love to other people. We must be people who can lease a blessing to other people and not a case. Who must be speaking good of other people and not bad things who must be there to build a relationship and not destroy relationship. Are we really walking in the love of our Lord Jesus Christ? The Bible, when we read in Hosea chapter 6, verse 2, says, Come back to me, repent, meaning that we must stop cursing others, we must stop hating others, we must stop destroying others, other people's relationship. We must stop sinning. We must come back to God and submit to his words. We must start doing the word of God. As we start doing the word of God, it is in that way that we will now start bearing the fruit of the Spirit. As we start doing the word, it will mean the Holy Spirit will now dwell inside our hearts. And as the Holy Spirit dwells inside our heart, that will mean we will now bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, who is love. Start doing the word of God today. Have the Holy Spirit inside your heart. And as you have the Holy Spirit inside your heart, you will bear the fruit of love inside your life. Love will only manifest where there is the Holy Spirit. Do you have the Holy Spirit inside your heart? It is your time. Start doing the wait, repent, and everything is going to be light with you. And I want to pray for you. May the good Lord grant you his grace of salvation. May the good Lord grant you his Holy Spirit inside your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. May the good Lord bless you and may you walk in his light in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm -hmm.